I'm sort of being reminded of a conversation style that is represented by a woman and a female journalist that I have often admired from a distance as a person who came out of journalism school, and that is Ann Ryder today. Ann Ryder has this marvelous way of asking a question that proposes not the answer, but just for you to question in your own mind what it is you think and feel in this moment of today. So the question I'd like to propose sort of in honor of her as a trained journalist and a professional educator on many things with regard to health practices across her career is what do you feel about a person in your family or in your friends group who has COVID? And more importantly, if a person of the intimate relationship with you has COVID, is that going to adjust the way in which you interact and behave? In other words, let's be really bold, and I'll step out of my compliment to her and totally own this question because it's something I'm questioning myself in every way as I move forward in my life as an individual professional and looking for my wife to come and visit is, would you make love to a person with COVID? You see, my basic understanding of COVID is this is just a horrendous version of the flu. But flu takes its toll on the body, and usually when someone has flu, we just do a little bit of petting, we just do a little pecking, we don't do a lot beyond that. It's just too not healthily wise, and I don't mean to make silliness of that. But the truth is, with COVID, there are carriers, and the carriers of COVID may not necessarily know they have COVID, but then there are many carriers, like a gentleman that I met and spoke to who didn't bother until quite a bit later in the conversation to tell me that he was a carrier of carry of COVID, but that was, of course, after we had met, and that was, of course, when we were following up in our conversation about his father's business and its ability to help me to get a different style cart for my carrying of things after I got locked, literally on landlocked by a marvelous, and actually, fa factually marvelous, let's just be rude that they were rude to me, um, uh, sorry, um, management company that refused to shovel its driveway and shovel its sidewalks during a time and period of snow and winter. And that was not fun for me because it meant I was stuck there. And the guy who was plowing the driveway refused to clean it off. He was actually trying to block in the driveway so people could not use that driveway to turn around in, which I thought was sort of not very neighborly. But in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth and to raise important questions of the day that if your loved one, if your life partner, if your lover has COVID, what are you going to do? 